Hey guys, it's Bill from Competition Cars. I have on Hemmings Auctions up for sale right now a 1974 Oldsmobile Delta 88 four-door with 7,300 original miles. It's a 350 car with the factory, uh, factory 350 V8 four barrel, automatic air conditioning, power steering, power brakes. Other than that, there's not very many options on this car. Uh, the car, I got it from the sister of the second owner, the original owner where it was bought out in, uh, in, mid, in the Midwest, I think it was. The original owner owned it from 74 up until about 2000 and I wanna say 14, 15, 16 in that neighborhood. Then his best buddy, when that guy passed, his best buddy bought it. And then that guy passed and his sister inherited it and I bought it, I bought it from the sister. 7,300 miles, mostly original paint. What's not original, and the only reason it's not original, up under these fender wells, just down below here, they get kind of rock chips on each spot, kind of behind the tires from kicking up stones. So I had just below this line blended on the bottom. From there up on the rest of the entire car is original paint. It's held up very well. We've done a five stage paint correction on this car. We clay bar, compound polish, ceramic coat, and then we have a new product that's called graphene. It does a really amazing job. Now, the car, what doesn't buff out, if there was any scratches or nicks, whatever whatever didn't buff out, we would touch up. I got the factory paint and touched it up. Has a few little touch up spots. We'll walk around the car and see if we can find them. They're very minimal, and, the, and actually the color blended pretty good. And the paint's not 100% perfect. You gotta figure it's, it's old paint. It's a 74, so it's got near 50 year old paint. It has some like little imperfections here. You can see a little bit of a, uh, stressing minor 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 of the paint here a couple of stains on the hood that we couldn't get out typically what happens is if there's any chemicals it's single stage paint so it'll kind of get into the paint and you can't get it out there's another spot here this is the worst spot it's just like a spider web crack here again very very minimal i personally touched every inch of this car buffed it a couple of spots here on some of the trim well mainly here where the buffer, this, this trim has gotten dry, so when I hit it with the buffer, I was very careful, but it kind of chipped up the trim a little bit. Vinyl top's in excellent condition. The chrome is in excellent condition. The bright work is in excellent condition. Tail lights are in excellent condition. It was sold brand new at Key Oldsmobile. Uh, I did have, also, I had this center strip painted because it was, it was too dull for my liking. These polished out, but these are still kind of dull, so I had that center strip painted, which that's not on the body, so it doesn't really matter. The, uh, the chrome on the car, the bumpers look great. Uh, the hubcaps are in immaculate condition. The trim pieces around the fender well, sometimes these get dinged up. These are all pretty straight. I don't see any issues there. Another spot here where I buffed it and it kind of chipped up the, uh, the rubber. I would imagine those are pretty inexpensive to replace. I left them because they aren't original. Now, uh, look at the front bumper. A lot of these old cars, some of the bumper had like, you know, a little discoloration. This car, you can tell, was kept you know, very well kept inside for a good portion of its life. So it's, you know, all the, all the chrome is, is, is looking good. Now, uh, the interior of the car, 100% original. And I mean to tell you, you can tell it's 7,000 miles. It looks like brand new. Seats are perfect, headliner dash, door panels, everything is, is just as new. We had, we do a pre-sale uh, inspection and service on these cars. So the oil change has been done. My guy, instructions to my guys is if there's anything wrong with the car, it needs anything, you do it. So we did the, all the fluids are either changed or topped off, depending on what needed to be done. I had the air conditioning redone. I put a new compressor on it. I kept the original compressor. I'm sure the original compressor can be rebuilt, but I kept it because it's the original compressor to the car. Um, AM radio does not work. Tried to play with it. I can't figure out what's wrong with it. They can be rebuilt for two or 300 bucks, but most guys are you know, 15 to 20 weeks out before they can get to it. You can see there's no rust on this car. Up under the doors are perfect. It's got some original oil chain sticker, sticker that we're still in there. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is a car that you can just hit the key, drive it, and enjoy it. It's already been serviced and, and, and refurbished and, and brought back to life as far as the overall condition. We'll open the hood. We do an engine bay restoration. You know, these, even though the car has very low miles, they get dirty and dingy and nasty. So my guy goes through and cleans everything. What doesn't clean, he'll put back to the original luster or whatever color paint it was supposed to be. Like the block and all looks good. That's the aftermarket compressor. Car blows ice cold air. 
But like I said, do have the original compressor if you want to get it rebuilt and keep the car completely original. Get a shot of this little bin plate here. Get a shot of this interior on this side. That's the carpet's in, in excellent condition. You don't have to spend a dime doing anything to this car except drive it and enjoy it. We have a driving video too that we did so you can see how the car drives. All the original rubber is still in excellent condition, very soft. Everything's pristine. Just a really unique car, a real, a real timepiece. I mean, the car probably should go in a museum if you think about it. Now, I have people ask me, how can you prove that's original miles? Besides looking at the overall condition on the car, okay, and realizing it's the original miles, look, look back here, everything is just like new from 1974. So here's how I can prove, again, because there's no Carfax on the car, there's the original compressor that came on the car in 74. You can probably get that rebuilt, put it back on. So in the, in the trunk is a Daytona tire, okay, that's never been on the ground, that's never been out of the trunk with the stickers and all the markings on it. It has those same four tires with the same type of codes on it that's on the car. Now in the glove box, okay, along with the owner's manual, is this Daytona uh, tire guarantee from 1974. Now, this shows you here, if you look on this, this is pretty cool, shows the tire company in Ohio, date of sale, 6 74 There's the tire size, five, five tires. Old's, nine, old's 88, 74 model. Had no, so the, the odometer was zero. Basically, there was no miles on the car. And there's the person that bought it new. So these tires in 1974 were put on this car, okay, with no miles on the car. So now it has 7,000 miles on it. Same tires, matches the car, the tire in the trunk, and they are, they're almost 100% tread. And honestly, I don't, I don't understand how, how well these tires have held up. I mean, there's no major, like, dry rotting. Um, if you look at them in between the tread, I mean, I just, they just held up very well. I mean, that, that speaks to how the car was probably stored. And, yeah, they're, they're not super flat spotted. I mean, under 50 miles an hour, it's pretty smooth. Once you get over 50, there's, you got that shake in the tire. But uh, it's, a, it's a really, you know, for those tires, what I would do if you're going to drive this car is put a new set of tires, but keep these tires. These tires are very important to be with the car. So look around at all the pictures. I got a driving video. We got this walk around video. And uh, you're buying a really unique car. It's a great color combination. If you guys have any questions, ask them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. I think there's a day or two left on the auction for Hemmings. Just a really cool, super affordable car that's sure to go up in value in the near future. I mean, they're going up now. So again, where do you find a 7,000 mile car? Option low, that's pretty, you know, it's pretty rare. Most of these had a lot of, a lot of features on it. This is kind of rare. So bid all you can and good luck guys.